Hello everyone, welcome back to my new episode on Excel Tutorial. Today I am going to show you some amazing C scatter chart line diagrams with basic shapes like square, triangle, and hexagonal. The scatter diagram graphs pairs of numerical data, with one variable on each axis, to look for a relationship between them. It is used to show the relationship between two quantitative variables. A scatter chart has a horizontal and vertical axis, and both axes are value axes designed to plot numeric data. Let's start with creating a simple square by using X and Y position coordinates. To complete the one full cycle of the square, we need five pairs of coordinate values. Here I have a table with X and Y position coordinates to represent these five points. Before I enter each value, let's insert a scatter line chart. To do this, go insert tab and click the scatter chart option from the chart section, and select the scatter with straight line chart option. With the selection of a design option, click select data. The data source will appear click add from legend entries, select the region for X and Y coordinates. Then hit OK. I will set the maximum bound value for the X and Y axis is to 1. For this, right click on the axis value and choose the format axis. Then set the maximum bound value to 1 from the axis option. Next scale the graph to represent the square shape. I will set like 4x4 four four for both width and height. Cool. Now let's start to enter the coordinate values to create a square. I will start X and Y from the axis origin. That is 0, 0. Next, I will choose the clockwise coordinate system, hence next will be 0 and 1. Third coordinate value will be 1 and 1, next, 1 and 0. And the fifth will be again 0 and 0, hence we have completed a square shape. The next will be a little trickiest one, let's say I have a square shape with four coordinates value, like x1, y1, and x2, y2, and so on. Then, assume, I just scale down the existing square, let's say to around 94%, and slightly rotate it till the four corners to touch the outer square four sides. Now, you can see it has created different coordinate points like A, B, C, and D. Next let us find the coordinate values related to original square coordinate values. Hence X value for the A point will be X1. Next, Y position value will be Y1. Plus Y2, minus, Y1 multiplied with the scale down value. The same method can be used to find the other three corners X and Y positions. The next square will be the same, scale down and, rotate. Let us continue the same process in the Excel sheet. So, in order to complete the second square, I will set the formula from the original square X and Y values. Before that, I will adjust the chart data by expanding the X and Y values. OK. Let's set the 6th X and Y position values. So, equal C4, plus, open bracket, C5, minus, C4, closed bracket, multiply with the scale, and enter. C5, 
so I will set the scale down value to around 94%. Just drag the formula to Y position value as well. Then, select both 6th position value and drag until 10th position values to complete the small square. So let us continue the same till complete 200 points, at the same time we should adjust the chart data as well. Now you can see an amazing, shape with scattered line diagram. By adjusting the different scale value can create different styles of scatter diagram. Next, I will continue the same for the triangle and hexagonal as well, continue to watch. Please download the Excel template of this scatter chart diagram from the link in the description. The basic idea will set the coordination value for the original shape, consecutive shape points can be related to the previous shape coordinate values. This method can be done for various shape, like, octagon, star, random shapes as well. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next week. Please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.